hello loves so welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing a really quick video i'm going to show you guys how to um fuel and feed um your uh honey jar spells this is a honey jar that i did a while back and honey jar spells um can be hold on let me move this uh can be fed in different ways um this one um I feed pretty regularly like at least two to three times a week and I just the other times during the week I spent time kind of um, meditating with it moving it around um, praying over it um, pushing through my intentions because honey does take a longer time to work so um, for me honey jar spells um, are a long-term spell investment because you are investing in the spell for a longer time it takes a longer time to work and do its thing so you have to give it like time for it to do its thing so I like to feed it with fire um, pretty regularly in my practice and I like to give it and, and fuel it and add more candles because it is sealed at the top with uh, wax that's why you guys see the different wax on here um, so today I'm going to be feeding it uh, with specifically a beeswax candle but this is not just any type of beeswax candle these candles are really really cool um and i'm going to show you guys why so before um we start you know doing everything on the beeswax candle i'm going to just go ahead and mix my herbs um because this is going to be a really th this candle is really cool because uh you can open it it rolls open um, and you can basically put in your intention and uh, you can put herbs, you can put oils and stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to roll it open uh, a good amount and then we're going to roll it back um, with, you see how it just rolls open? It's a candle, so you see the wick, um, but the beeswax candle, the honeycomb candles um, are really cool for petitions uh, because you really get to infuse that intention in there. Um, and it just kind of sits like that regularly. So instead of carving it, you could literally just put a piece of paper in there, which is what we're going to be doing with this. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to just go ahead and do my herbal blend for this. Um, with sweetening jars, I like to kind of keep it very, very uh, clear and clean and, you know, nothing too crazy. I'm going to just go in with roses. Depending on your intention for what this candle was meant to do, you can kind of do different things. Um, this specific sweetening jar is for self-love, so that's why I'm adding that, the roses, obviously. I'm also adding hibiscus for womb healing. A good amount of hibiscus in there. And I'm going to add some, um, cascadilla powder, some eggshell powder, just for purification, for making sure that things stay nice and balanced and cleansed i'm also adding ginger ginger is really good for purification but also for success so you want it to be you want this to be a successful spell but you want to add that like level of um of like spice like the way that ginger just cleanses and cleans things away and also pumpkin spice because punk pumpkin spice has um all of these wait where there you go cinnamon ginger nutmeg and allspice all of these are amazing for like love work i always get like stock up on the pumpkin spice um at the dollar tree like the this um at the dollar tree during the holiday season during the fall time because it's just essential for my practice in the fall always ends up having pumpkin spice so i always end up using it so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend it together and i'm going to pray over the herbs as i do this um and then i will come back because i don't want to shake the camera too much um but i'm just gonna mix it together with intention blend it over pray over it and then i will come back i'm also gonna add some calendula flowers in here because i just saw it and my I, my eyes just gravitated to it, towards it so i'm just gonna add those the in calendula there well. flowers you're gonna have to take out all the sticks and the stems out and just use the flower petals because it, again you're going to be rolling this this is going to stop it from rolling so just take those out um yeah but just take those out leave the petals in okay you've done that you're just going to mix it and incorporate it with the rest of the blend mix it really, really okay well. so now that you have that well mixed you're going to go ahead and um start to kind of put this the herbal mix to the side and you're going to prepare your um, intention. Uh, this should be the same intention that you have for your jar. Um, and hopefully you remember what that is. So hopefully you write down your spells. Uh, but you're going to just amplify that intention. Um, speak it in the present tense. And then when you're ready, 
we're going to start mixing and rolling everything uh, within um, the candle. So I'm going to write mine and then I'll be right back. You could do it as far as you need to. I'm not going to do it too far in. This is like a good spot for me because I, I still have like a little bit left here. I don't want to go, go too, too deep into the wig, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place the petition in here like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the herbs and the oils at the same time. Just pressing it in to the wax so it stays sealed. Okay, so then we're going to add our oil. I'm going to be using the love oil that I got from um, Stasi from Moonlight and Sage Shop. Um, the one that smells like strawberries. It smells so delicious. You don't need to use like a ton of drops, but I'm just going to go like this. Boom. This oil smells so good. I put it on my hair my hair hasn't stopped smelling amazing so then after um you have done that i'm just gonna slowly start to roll it over okay just slowly and you're gonna see how the, you shouldn't try to pull it or yank it too much just give it its course just slowly start rolling it over Okay, and you're going to continue to put your herbal blend that you did throughout the candle. You can like massage it into the holes of the honeycomb. Okay, and then add a couple more oil into the candle so you're rolling slowly slowly rolling take your time definitely be in prayer during this time and then we're still putting in the herb formula all the way to the end and we're just kind of massaging it into the holes so it rolls better, okay. Okay, and we're adding our oil. Okay, and we are rolling, rolling. We're almost at the end, so we're gonna, gonna be sealing it here. Let me just see how much I have left. Okay. So, and then rolling. Okay. Now, just add a little bit to the ends. And then we're going to be sealing that over with the oil. You're still rolling it and there you go. So that's what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like. I'm going to pull this up like this. This is what it looks like. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get your jar and you're going to put your candle on top. And at, this would be a great time for you to hold it in between your hands and just pray over it. Amplify the energies. Let the beeswax add that sweetness, that hard work, getting, getting your petition to work through. Thanking your spirits and your guides for amplifying their energy and helping you bring this into fruition. Okay, and then take the remainder of the herb or blend that you have and you can just put it on top. Just 
like that. Waste no tiny herbs are wasted in spell work. Not for me anyway. I like to use everything at my disposal. Okay, so we're just gonna add a little bit more oil. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and light this. I'm going to be lighting it with a sandalwood incense. This is going to work both as a offering as well. Because I, I am working with, I've been working with the sweetening jar with Santa Muerte. So this is going to be going on her altar space. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how to feed your jar because I think it's something very important. And then I'm just gonna take the sandalwood incense and I like to kind of just create this supportive cloud of smoke with the incense. I like to do this while I am, wait, let me just clean up the space a little bit because the mess is bothering me. Um, I like to have my altar very clean when I'm working. So let me just clean that up. Okay. There we go. So I'm just going around, feeding it with the energies. Um, I will also have a rose quartz around it just to amplify the energies that I'm looking for. Um, and if there's any other crystals like uh, carnelian, I will also have around. Um, I, I like to do a lot of amplification work. Um, so I'll use different crystals for different things. Um, I'll also use my garnet um for this let me just move this one over here and um yeah that's pretty much how i set up and feed my candles and then i'm just gonna be watching it uh burn this is gonna be going in her altar space um i'm just gonna put i have my working santa muerte altar on my working altar right now so i'm just gonna put this in her working altar right now and allow it to just finish burning in her space so there we go ow almost burned the hell out of myself okay uh so there you go and then let me show you guys what it looks like so that's what it's yeah. looking like right now and it's just going to be in my santa marta altar the flame is very very high so this specific spell has been a work in progress for a long time because you have to feed it for a while. So I've been feeding this one for about um, almost a month now. Um, it is very, very, very powerful sweetening jar. Um, and it's been doing this thing. It's definitely been doing this thing. But when it comes to honey jar spells, you have to give it enough time for it to work. You see that flame? You see that flame? Yeah. Uh, you got to give it time for it to work and to do its thing properly so that's why you know we're doing it this way and it's just going to continue to seal it um as well which is part of the purpose is sealing it with that intention and feeding that honey jar with the intention uh, for what it is that we want and it's a very very powerful um spell to do and i wanted to show you guys how to uh, recharge your honey jars because a lot of the time people think that you just make a honey jar and then you just kind of leave it but you actually have to work with it all the time i shake mine i like prayer over mine every single day and then occasionally i will do a feeding um and which is really really important because if you don't it just you know it'll take a lot longer for it to work as well that's kind of the other thing with honey is like you have to use it use the honey use the sweetness that you have don't just waste the honey don't, don't just leave it you know getting there it's not like it's gonna expire but just like don't just not use it like i'd rather use honey in my tea than not use honey at all you know um so working with it amplifying its energies and setting those intentions just keep everything running really smooth um, and it's my preferred way of working with it. Uh, so yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this spell. Um, and I hope that you guys, um, you know, try it out. I love working with these candles. These candles are so just amazing to work with, um, because they just work, they work so well. They work so well. Um, 
and they they add that other element because I'm using honey already so using that beeswax um, just helps to amplify um, that sweetening the hard work that's gonna take for it, the situation to sweeten and all that kind of stuff um, so definitely try it let me know in the comments if you're gonna try this but yeah I just wanted to share this with you guys I don't share all of my like spells that I do on the channel but I like to definitely give you guys like a lot of the tips that you know are definitely needed that you can work with in a really meaningful and purposeful way that is actually going to help you guys so yeah that's what we're doing today and i hope that you guys enjoyed it i will definitely see you loves in the next video definitely don't forget to come through tomorrow for our um for our gemini moon healing circle at 3 30 um i will definitely see you guys there i'm really excited to get to connect with you guys and yeah i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out the patreon and yeah there's a lot of things coming in 2022 i'm really excited to bring to fruition um but stay tuned for all of the good stuff and yeah i will see you loves in the next video bye